Everyone, I'm gonna mess with your mind a little bit. So we all know, or well, hopefully if you're watching this, you know Cad Bane, a Star Wars character who uses a breathing apparatus. Now he was introduced in the early 21st century. Many people say he's a ripoff of the DC Bane, another guy named Bane who also uses a breathing apparatus, who's kind of crazy and nuts and a badass just like Cad Bane, but, but Bane from DC actually came out 15 years earlier. But technically, technically, this creature we got a quick glimpse of 16 years before DC Bane even came out. Not that it matters, they're both badasses that could kick my ass. Well, not if I was drinking. So, they could never kick my ass. Hey, my name is Mr. X, welcome to the Extreme Channel. We are giving away $1,000 statues to you guys. If you wanna know how to win one, stay tuned for later in the video. Everyone's super stoked today because I have a quarter scale statue of Cad Bane. So this is a custom, means it's a private unlicensed commission. And even more exciting, this is the prototype. So there's only one in the world and they sent it to me and they said, hey, I want you to give an honest review. We're trying to get some more interest in this piece because we want to create a small edition size of like 20 or 30. And I'm going to be honest with you, kind of as a spoiler, I don't think they're going to have a problem. I like this a lot. So as a disclaimer, this is from the same people that actually sent me this Darth Maul. And I want to go back. In that Darth Maul review, I said, I don't know where that scene comes from. Apparently, it's at the end of Han Solo. Now, while I'm a big Star Wars fan, I'm a fan of the original trilogy and some of the stuff they've come out since then. I didn't even remember that scene with Darth Maul at the end of the movie. But I do remember Cad Bane, not only from the Clone Wars, where he was really prevalent, but he made his first live action guest star in the Boba Fett series. And I thought he was absolutely awesome. And that's what this statue is based off of. So I really like this group. They're taking kind of the more modern Star Wars stuff and they're making statues of characters we never get to see and they're badass characters as well. So props to them. And this one has a lot of cool stuff. Now, this is Cad Bane. So he is an alien that lives on Tatooine and he's one of the most badass bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's worked for the Sith. He's worked against the Sith. I believe he was trained by Jango Fett. He trained Bubba Fett. And pretty much anyone he's worked with, he's tried to kill or they've tried to kill him as well. Like I said, we got introduced to the cinematic version of the character in the Bubba Fett series. But his creature, his alien, his species was actually in the original 1977 Star Wars. That's what I was talking about in the intro. Here is a scene from the cantina, if you remember that. So we got to see this creature. Then how cool is that almost 50 years later, we see that same creature again, but in the most badass reform. And what's crazy about him is he has pretty much been tied into every popular character in the Star Wars franchise, but he himself is not super popular to the people that aren't super Star Wars junkies. I wouldn't consider myself a super Star Wars junkie, although I have owned a ton of Star Wars stuff. Here's a very old video of some of the Star Wars collectibles I had. Now, unfortunately, I've really whittled down my collection and I sold all of that with the exception of two pieces. And this is a prototype, so I'm sending it right back to him after I review. But man, this looks badass. If I had a Bubble Fett piece, especially from, you know, the new series, I would definitely want to pair this. And as a disclaimer, I don't get anything for telling you guys any of this. I don't get a kickback. I get to review this. So I can shit on it if I want, although I'm not Amber Heard. I can tell it like it is, which is what I'm going to do. And let's do that starting with concept. You know, one of the things I've noticed is they're keeping their bases on their statues very simple. And I think that's the case here. It's kind of a museum base on the outside. And then you see the sand. Now, we're going to assume he's on Tatooine. And that's all there is on sand. Now, this doesn't look like your typical sand. It almost looks like a mix of rocks. And I'm not sure if that was purposeful or not. But I like it. I think it fits the character well. It fits kind of a desolate cowboy area well. You see a gun, a big ass gun buried in half of the sand. I think that's cool. And then he is standing there in a traditional cowboy pose. Now what's interesting about this is when we talk about concept, there's some switch outs that slightly change what the concept is. But let's just talk about this one right here. He is in a traditional cowboy standoff. His hands are to the side. He's ready to draw like you see in movies. See who's faster, him or the other guy. I'm guessing it's going to be him. He looks fierce. His jacket is blowing in the wind. Every time we see a cowboy face-off scene, that's what we see. And this is no exception. You move up his traditional outfit. He has extra bullets on him. He has different apparatuses. So he actually uses some of those for a number of different functions. One is actually to breathe. He doesn't naturally breathe whatever atmosphere is on Tatooine. 
So he uses that to breathe. He has some other stuff he uses to hunt. And he is fierce. And what is more badass than having a cowboy brim hat like that? I think that's pretty cool. It really adds to this character. So I like it. It's not overly complex by any means, but it's not too simple either. I think the pose really gets me on this. And like I said, the switch outs, the other pose is cool too. But I think it's a four out of five simply for the pose. And you guys know I think pose is incredibly important. Now we're going to get into design. Design worked great, not only with the switch outs. I'll show you what I mean after the unboxing and assembly. Small manageable box. Now please note that the packing might not be exactly like this on the production pieces, but it most likely will be very similar, if not the same. Here's the first layer. And then the second layer. So we're going to measure him. He is quarter scale, meaning one-fourth smaller than a real-life version, which is what most Star Wars pieces are. It's about a 13 to 14 inch diameter on the base. And he is just under 20 inches. So that's great. He'll fit in almost any display cabinet. Now you do have a number of switch-out options, and frankly, I love them all. Let's look at them. There's two portraits. Now one thing about the portraits, because the hat is uh, tipped low, which I think it should be because it fits the character, you're going to have to display them a little bit higher up or at least to eye level. But here's one fierce portrait, and I think this looks great. And then you have another portrait where his teeth aren't bared, but he still looks badass contemplating his next kill. Then you have two different options with each arm. And they're both the same. So the first one is right here where his arms are down to the side. His fingers are ready to grab his guns, which I think is pretty cool. Or you could do it with his guns already out of his holster up in the air. So here's pictures of that. And that's both the right arm and the left arm, like I said. Now, you don't have to display either or. You can interchange them. So here's a picture of that. And one important part here is he has holsters on the side with two of the pistols. The pistols are removable. So if he has them drawn, you can definitely have them removed from the holster or they can be additional ones in this holster. But if he's about to draw with his hands down, you definitely want them in the holster. And just for reference, here is a side-by-side -side of both his hands down ready to draw and then one with his guns already drawn. Everything fits really well except the antenna in the backpack. So since this is the prototype, that's feedback I'm going to give them. It falls out pretty easy. Otherwise, the magnets are fantastic in the hoses and the arms. The cape fit really well, or his, I shouldn't say cape, but his jacket, but it's kind of like a cape. Now, most of the time on statues like this, when that goes on, it actually scratches things. This was perfect. You cannot display it without the hat on. So there's a big keyhole in his head. You have to have the hat. But this is one where I think you're going to have the hat no matter what because it's a quintessential part of the character. So overall, I also give the design a 4 out of 5. I think it's done pretty well. Paint and sculpt on this one. I like this a lot better than their Darth Maul. And I think this was their first project. I think Darth Maul was their second. But uh, I'm really digging it. This looks fantastic. Check it out. I want to start with the portraits because they are really good. So... It seems a little basic at first until you really dive in. Look at the texture they laid on the skin with the paint and the sculpt, the expressions, the ridge lines under his eyes, how his mouth is pursed together. I love the red, um, almost beadiness that they added for those eyes. Some really good detail in there. We'll go to the other portrait in a moment, but... The black museum base is fine. I would have maybe liked to see a little bit more of a shine. I hate museum style 
uh, sub bases, but if you're going to do it, make it museum style. I don't know if this is supposed to be rock or sand. I think if it's a sand, it's supposed to be sand, it's a little bit of a miss. I think that they're too clumped together, but for rock, it looks great. And even these larger rocks on here, they look like real rocks. And I think that's a good combination of the texture that's sculpted on and then the layering of the paint. The guns look okay. The uh, wood grain here could have been done a little bit better. I think it's more of a sculpt issue than a paint, but the actual gun itself looks absolutely fantastic. And then CAD here, Mr. Bane, amazing. So look at the jacket, it looks like a real leather jacket. They did a nice job and then the flow of it just really adds to it. And I like how the shading goes in and out. The intricacy on the devices, one of the things you're gonna notice is how clean the paint is on this. I like the color they used, it's, it's not too metallic yet it's not too dull. And again, very clean paint you're gonna see on all of the areas here. This is a translucent uh, hose on this one, where this one, it's more of a wired one, like his breathing apparatus. Actually felt like a real hose, but it's static, so you can't really bend it. Great job on the boots. I like how he has ammo everywhere. And again, just uh, another example of the remarkably uh, well done, clean paint job. Texture on the pants really adds to those folds down where he's tucked them into the boots. A lot of brown on this statue but it's almost different variations of brown, whether it's the base or his coat or his boots or his outfit. Pistols look great, I think. Big old cowboy belt buckle, quintessential part of being a cowboy. And some more of that circuitry on him. I really like the shirt too. Again, it looks like real leather. This is fully sculpted. And then this portrait. Those evil teeth look absolutely fantastic. Same comments uh, as I said before with the beady eyes. And his cowboy rimmed hat. It flows together really well. I think they did a really incredible job with the paint and sculpt on this. That just really adds to everything in my opinion. We're gonna rate the paint. You know, I do not like that there's so much brown, but I understand why they did that. It's his outfit, it's who he is, and it's done really well. And it's so clean, especially with a lot of the intricate detail on him. I think it's a four out of five on the paint. Sculpt is equally as impressive. I really like it. And I think they did an amazing job with the portrait. I give the sculpt also a four out of five. And as a reminder on the extreme scale, four out of five means above average. That's a really good score. Five is kind of like grail status almost. So is he worth it? Well, we don't know yet. So like I said, they're trying to make 20 or 30, but they need people who are interested. So there's a way to contact them in the description of this video. Retail is going to be $8.75 on this plus shipping, which is not bad for such a low edition size of a quarter scale character that's done really well. And let's be honest, there really aren't any other Cad Bane options. Like I said, if you have bounty hunters from Star Wars, you have got to get this guy. So I'm going to give the value also a 4 out of 5. You know, I don't think I've ever had a statue where I gave it all the same score across. And while I don't think he has the X Factor, I don't think he's a 5 out of 5, I really like this piece. If I was still collecting Star Wars, I 100% would buy this. I think it's a 4 out of 5 overall. Well done. I'm really impressed. Cad Bane is such a badass. If you don't know much about him, look it up. I should have kept him and had like a Bubba Fett. I used, I used to own XM Studios right here. I could have put him next to uh, Bosk. I could have done a whole line of bounty hunters. That would have been absolutely amazing. What do you guys think? Do you like the character? Do you like the statue? Throw that down in the comments below. It could enter you into winning another statue. Not this one, sadly. As we try to grow this channel, we like to reward you guys for watching and subscribing. So because of that, every 5,000 milestone when it comes to subscribers, we give away a couple thousand dollars worth of statues. We've actually given away over 20 statues. To win one is easy. First, you gotta be subscribed to the channel. You'll get bell notifications when videos drop. Each video that drops, you want to make a comment on those videos. We pick a random video, we give away statues, based on a comment. You can say whatever you want. The more videos you comment on, the higher your chances are to win. Hey, first of all, thank you to the creators of this. I, it was a pleasure to see it, pleasure to review it. I'm going to put them back in the box safe and send them back. Thank you to everybody for watching. Please support this project. Uh, if you like it, again, check the description below. But I really appreciate you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.